everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm working this morning on more of this stuff. I don't have the whole day to do this, but whenever you get some hours spare, I like to try to jump in on it. What I've accomplished today is just another layer of grass up along the top. I've been packing in some more uh, rotted logs, and I've been bringing over a lot of dirt from that kind of backup area. I mentioned that I was running low on dirt on that pile that's like just kind of around the corner of the shed over there. Uh, but this over, this area over here, kind of between these black pipes and that gigantic pile of uh, dead trees and future firewood, uh, there was a bunch of uh, uh, subsoil that was left over from the grading process and everything. And it's actually, it's really easy digging. It's this stuff here, and it's a really great mix of uh, kind of clay-like uh, soil. It's really, uh, it really stick together well. There is a bunch of chunks of rock in there, but they're small. Um, so, I mean, it's really the best of every single kind of uh, attribute that it could have because you know the rocks are good for shielding but they're not so big that they make it difficult to dig in I mean here in uh, New England it is uh, you know if, if you can sh hit a shovel into the ground you go more than three inches without hitting ledge you know you consider yourself lucky so it's super easy digging and I've gotten a lot of material out of there all my my concerns about not having enough dirt uh, in order to do what I want to do are gone now I'm actually going to save that entire pile to do like a, a half inch, maybe um, one inch kind of top layer over the entire thing afterwards to kind of fill in any gra uh, cracks that I've got and the grass will kind of grow up through there and it'll uh, make a, that's nice uh, like topsoil stuff so it'll make a, like a nice topper layer on top of anything. Anyway, things are going pretty well. This uh, little stick here is the, the corner of the root cellar, at least uh, you know it's, it's approximately there. And uh, my plan to finish off is obviously to kind of get more stuff into this area. And I could, I could terminate the wall here. I mean, I think that would be enough shielding uh, for the corner. But I really ought to bring it out a little bit more. And the reason for that is these light tubes. Uh, these light tubes go down, I don't know, a foot or two. And then they, they uh, shoot into the structure in there. And um, if I build, like, a bunch of dirt over here and there's not a lot of support over here or no support over here, it's going to be pulling on these guys as the dirt kind of settles. It's going to push out this way. And I don't want to be putting that kind of strain on these guys. So I think I'm going to uh, pull this thing out another, another foot or so. Um, just to, you know, so I'm not putting strain on those guys. It will provide a little extra shielding on the inside. But mostly it's a structural thing where I don't want to be putting a lot of uh, kind of yank on, uh, on these light tubes. But... Uh, Things are going really well. I was able to obviously get that thing in in time. The last five minutes of mixing concrete yesterday, it started to rain and hail, but I was able to get it in just in time. Got the concrete in there. Uh, I topped it off with some dirt so that the, the rainwater wouldn't go in. And uh, it's just curing down there. I'm gonna leave all the scaffold on there for a couple of days. Concrete, you know, it, it takes at least a couple of days to really set up hard and, you know, if I can let, let those things sit there for a week, you know, it's going to be all that much uh, stronger on the other side if I just let it sit there. So I'm just kind of leaving those things there. Uh, we did have uh, rain, like I mentioned yesterday, and I, I did put a bag over this thing uh, to try to uh, protect the wood uh, sections of it. It doesn't have a roof yet, and in fact, I haven't, I haven't actually even designed a roof uh, at this point. The, the initial plan for that thing is actually just to get the sides, the filters in, the sides on, and then I'm just going to put like kind of a bag roof on the top and wrap a rope around it, and I'll figure out how to do a nice roof uh, later on. But I, I want to get some uh, material so it'll kind of beautifully match all the other roofing material that's here. So things are going all right, and and that's what I'm doing today. But uh, in a couple of minutes, I gotta head off to a play date. <laughs> that's it. Well, for my boy, not for myself. Although I do like hanging out with the parents, so it's kind of a play date for both of us. <laughs> that's it. Thanks for watching.